Hey, Children's Books for Teachers group. It's Todd Parr. Surprise. Marsha Papa wanted me to give you a shout out and thank you all for reaching a thousand members. And I know you're all down on lockdown again. And I, I don't have words. I just don't have words um, for any of it. Um, all I can say is just do everything you can to take care of yourself. Uh, I love macaroni and cheese, so that always works for me. But um, how about I'll read you um, a little bit from the bedtime book, and then maybe that will help you feel relaxed or fall asleep. I don't know. But anyway, here we go. Um, this is my new book that just came out. It's time for bed. Good night. Quiet. Do not disturb. But no one is ready for bed. The puppy has to brush his teeth. The narwhal needs to take her bath. The raccoon has the hiccups. The bear is hungry. The baby goats are still jumping on the bed. The lion needs to brush his mane. And the kitties are ready for the bedtime story. Meow. Go to bed. Bird's getting very crabby, just like a lot of people. But the pig found a giant spider in her room. She even has tacos in there. The hippopotamus can't find his pajama bottoms. There they are. The elephant heard a noise in the closet. And the beaver has a toothache. Ouch, tooth hurts. The dog has to go potty. And the giraffe's bed is too small. The skunk is thirsty. And Mr. Biggles Bear is missing. Who cares? Go to sleep. But the sheep are still counting sheep. A fly is keeping the cow away. Bzz, bzz, moo, shoo. The bear has a tummy ache. Gurgle, gurgle. My tummy hurts. The hamster is still running and the polar bears are chilly. Now will everyone please go to sleep? The penguins need their nightlight. And the bunny wants one last hug and kiss goodnight. Sleeping is very important. If you don't get enough sleep, you will be very crabby. The end, love, Todd. Wake up! Just kidding. Good night. I hope that relaxed you and made you feel better. Um, remember to take care of yourself and... I don't have any more words. The end, love, Todd.